Hello, I am Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and back with some new exciting tutorials. This is going to be a very short tutorial but I just wanted to go over this because many people get this wrong. How to get some really nice adaptive field in After Effects. So depth field is really nice to create some depth in your scene obviously but it's something that I really use a lot and I really enjoy using depth field as it gives your scene a nice cinematic feel. So as you can see right here I have a scene that I'm working on currently and if you want to check out this intro a link will be put in the description but it's currently not finished yet so if you're watching real time you're not going to see the link in the description tomorrow you should so um, I have here an intro that I'm working on and if I check my depth of field you can see that it's really nice right here uh, to see some depth of field yeah it creates that kind of focus towards the middle towards the center and you get to focus on the title itself so how do you get perfect depth of field so what I do is right click new adjustment layer and I will write here depth of field and now we know this is going to be a layer with our depth of field applied to it so I will go to effect blur and sharpen and apply a camera lens blur here I like to work with a hexagon or a pentagon actually I will go for pentagon as it has a little bit less detail and it's going to be more obvious uh, to see these uh, kind of um, blurry samples okay so let's say I want something like 30 um, blur and you can see now on the edges is kind of um, weird looking so we'll uh, check on repeat edge pixels so let's do that and most people what they would do here is go into the mask tool click on the rectangle tool double click and then double click on your mask and then hold control to and um, drag it inwards well uh, yeah let's just do it roughly right now and then just subtract the layer and of course yeah it's not nice if it's cut off like this and then it would go F uh, for feather and feather it all the way but you can see right here what the problem is so currently you're actually feathering the mask out and not the effect so it's going to be 30 blur on the entire composition and then you're fading it off so it looks really weird and it's just not natural so to do that uh, correctly and fix to this is actually really simple and if you work with a 3d software and you uh, export like a z depth data you can also import that and use that as well but what I do if I want to fake motion blur is I create a new solid layer and I make this black click OK and OK then I create another solid layer and make this white and now I'll we'll click OK and do the exact same thing on my white layer double click my rectangle tool double click on the rectangle and hold control to drag it into the center around here and then I will subtract this layer so white is on the outside and black is on the inside and then we could go into uh, our feather so press F on the keyboard and get some like 300 and of course you would see here the edges are weird looking so we'll uh, double click on our mask again hold control and just make it as wide as you need to so it's a nice uh, width right here and that allows us if we select our two solid layers and go to layer pre-compose we're going to uh, deal F from depth of field mat and if we click OK and just uncheck this we can go into our depth of field effect itself here and go into the blur map and here we are going to select our layer DOF mat and that's going to allow us to everything that's white to be um, well with the depth of field enabled to it and the more you go towards black the more is going towards zero so everything that's black is going to be zero everything that's white is going to be 30 and everything in between is going to be yeah something different so you can see right here this gray area is going to just lower the effect and that way you get a really nice transition I think this is a pretty cool tip if you want to work with some fake depth of field but you can see that it really improves your scene by just adding a little bit of depth of field so that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a like and also subscribe to the channel and stay in focus for the next time <laughs>